With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, in this question it is given that which of the following are the characteristics required for the target to produce X-ray? Atomic number and melting point is given. Atomic number, low melting point high and we can see atomic number high melting point high and we can see atomic number low melting point low and atomic number high and the melting point low now we have to see which one is the correct clear so we know that x-ray produced x-rays produced if high velocity of high velocity of electron high velocity of electron collides with target collides with target in this way x-ray produce clear now we have to say about the atomic number and the melting point clear so we have a atomic number atomic number and melting point clear so atomic number should be high clear atomic number should be high and the melting point also should be high melting point also should be high why atomic number should be high if the atomic number high so this is what less stable clear and the melting point should be high why when the melting point high so when the high energetic electrons collide with the target so it will not melt easily clear that's why melting point should be high and the atomic number should be high so that it is less stable and we can see that x-ray can easily produce clear so in this way we can see that atomic number and melting point both should be high clear atomic number and melting point both should be high so b is the right option for this question we can see clear hope this answered your question thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today